All right, what's good, YouTube? Gentlemen, Thomas here, coach of the Copenhagen Galates, here with my Roost Week 8 team builder against the Picton, Picton Piplops, coached by Kumos. I think it's Kumos it's supposed to pr be pronounced. Now, Kumos is the current number one um, ranked trainer uh, in the league, or well, he's number one right now. Um, so... <laughs> So he is a very capable battler, but not just because of that. I've seen some of his battles. He plays really well, does some like nice switches. He team preps pr fairly well. He has also a really, really scary team. And that team consists of uh, Swampot, Rebombi, Rab Magalola, Ampharos Mega, Mianxiao Chestnut, Oricorio Sensu, or just Oricorio in general, but it's Sensu on this. He has all the forms, of course. Uh, Ligi Ligi, Sansa as Alola, and Piplop. Now, his team is... Compared to last week's team, where last week we faced Sane, who was number two, so I'm just facing all the big trainers in the end here. Well, okay, no trainer is necessarily a better than others. So I'm just facing those that are in form, if you, if you can say that those that have performed well. Um, and last week I wasn't too scared of, about the team. It wasn't intimidating to me, but I still lost... Uh, Spoiler, I guess. Sorry, <laughs> but I still lost last week. So definitely, definitely goes to show that how you use the team is more important than how good the team actually is. Now, this team on the, on the other hand, I think has more face value. Good mons like Swampart is amazing, Rebambi is amazing, Magalola is amazing, Ambrose Mega I think in low tier is amazing, but in general I don't really like it all that much. Me and Shao is incredible, uh, even though I did have to drop it in a WPF, unfortunately. Chestnut is a mon I actually kind of do want to, I do want to try Chestnut, but it's just I prefer a fast fighting type, so that's how it's really difficult for me to to justify getting Chestnut often. Now Arcario is a bit 50-50, but I actually do think it can be quite good. Gets access to Quiver Dance. I love Liggy 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 Liggy. It's probably top three normal types for me. Uh, Sansa as a Lola. A little bit interesting, but okay. And then Piplop is there, I guess. <laughs> um, now, some good info to know to have about um, Kuma's team is he has three stealth rocks set as in Swampbot, Sandslash, and uh, Piplop. Two spikes set us in Chestnut and Sandslash. Yes, Sandslash did actually get access to spikes, but reg both the Kanto and the Lolan got for Gen 8. He has uh, three removers in Defog, Rebambi, and Oricorio, and a Rabbit Spinner in Sandslash. And then he has a Aromatherapy user and a Heal Bell user in Rebambi and Leaky Leaky. Now, to prepare for his team, um, I kind of just did what I always do. I brought uh, my big guns, which include Lucario, also known as Impulse. Lucario this week is going to be live off Holos attack, do 1.3 damage, and it lose 110 of its max HP after the attack. We are steadfast because I don't really need uh, inner focus or justify it all that much. Uh, just I guess I guess justified could be fairly good if he um, is in with it, with his mock and I swap into Lucario. But he's most likely gonna run knock off, and I actually don't want my life life off to be knocked off all that much. Um, I would prefer just to keep the. Well, actually, if he knocks off my life orb and but hit, hits hits me with the dark type move, I guess I, I do get a plus one boost, which is a bigger boost than life orb. So that could be to my advantage, I suppose. <laughs> but I think Steadfast, in case he flinches me with something, I don't know what it would be. Because I don't think his Mianxia would ever fake out uh, my Lucario. I mean, it would only if he if he was like scared of Sash or something like that, maybe. But that's, that's also the principle behind Steadfast. Get the plus one speed boost if he does flinch me. Now, we are Lonely Nature this week with uh, 0 HP, 244 attack, 120 special attack, uh, 0 special defense, 144 in speed. This allows me to outspeed anything that is Sandslash and below because Lucario has an amazing like speed tier for his team. Uh, he has a base 124, 105, and then 93, and then it drops all the way down to Sandslash 65. So we actually don't need to run a whole lot of speed in Lucario. We can run... We could have ran a slightly more bulky Lucario, but I actually decided to run it like this because this allows me to Oko with, as you can see here, we have Earthquake, Bullet Punch, Close Combat, and Hidden Power Flying. Hidden Power Flying let me Oko, lets me Oko the Chestnut if it's a physically, like just straight up physically defensive with very, very little um, special defense. Uh, provided I have rocks up. If I don't have rocks up, it's a 60 something percent chance to Oko. But with rocks up, I, I guaranteed Oko the chestnut. 
Then Earthquake is just there for like Mark, Amphros, uh, Sandslash, I suppose, even though I have close combat. Bullet Punch is just there for the Rebombi and pretty much nothing else. Um, and then close combat is the main, uh, like, boom, 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 we're just going, because he doesn't have a great fighting resist. He has the Oricorio, and he has the um, Rebombi. Now, Lucario could be the reason he goes for either fire or ghost typing with the Oricorio if he decides to... Um, Bring it fire type is a good offensive typing against Lucario, but the ghost typing would be a good defensive typing against Lucario because I can't touch it. Uh, I can't touch it with close combat. True steel moves uh, would be neutral then, but you would have to pick something, I guess. But uh, with Lucario being a little bit slower but hard, harder hitting mon this week, we do need something that can clean up in the end, and that's going to be Barrascuda, also known as Jaws. Barrascuda is going to be running a deep power up. You can try and see if you can figure out which move I'm, br move I'm bringing then. Hold us two turn moves. I know it says Mives, but it is moves. Might be. Uh, complete in one turn except Sky Drops. Uh, single use. Swift Swim, because I did not care about <laughs> editing the uh, dock, because none of the abilities really matter. Uh, Jolly Nature with 96 HP, 252 attack, 0 defense, 0 special defense, 116 speed. This allows me to outspeed his entire team. That it is not a Scarfmon or a Rebombi after plus 1 Quiver Dance, I guess. The moveset is going to be Bounce, Drill Run, Liquidation, and Close Combat. So yes, Bounce is the move we are uh, expecting to use with um, the power up. It can work for Rebombi if he sends that in. If he thinks, thinks I'm only like Liquidation, Drill Run, and Close Combat, and he knows he can take a Liquidation, I can bounce, boom, I can pop the Rebombi. Um, it also works for like me and Xiao if I needed to, uh, but most importantly, it works for his Just Not. Now, I could have ra ran Psychic Fangs, but Psychic Fangs doesn't really do enough um, to Chest Not. It only does, I think it was 44, 45%. So Chest Not could just come in, Synthesis, Leech Seed, whatever he wants to, and then he could swap out to like Swampert or something afterwards. And then I would just really not net gain anything. So being able to bounce, if a close combat into a bounce, it should kill the chestnut. Uh, if a liquidation, I do have to have more damage on the chestnut. But I also have some decent answers for the chestnut, so it's not too terrible. Um, draw run for Magalola, Amphros, um, Mega Amphros. A liquidation as general step, he doesn't have a good water resist after the chestnut, so that can be very, very important. And then close combat for like Liggy Liggy, Sans Less, um, whatever I feel the need for. Okay, next up this week we have, yes, I know, dang it, <laughs> I, like, I already went over this once and then something happened on my PC, so I actually knew this was a mistake, but yeah, as you can see, it's Sigilif, also known as Osiris, uh, Life Orb, uh, typically I don't like having two Life Orb users on a team, but having the Magic Art ability makes it so I don't worry too much about it because I don't get the health drop from, li from Life Orb uh, on Sigilif, so I can run uh, to with a better conscience, I guess. Now, the EV spread is going to be a timid nature with 32 HP, 0 defense, 252 special attacks, 0 special defense, and 224 in speed. This allows me to outspeed uh, in everything that is called the Oricorio and below. So, most of his team, except two mons and me and Xiao, I'm not too afraid of. Yes, it can run knock off, but I don't think if I'm already if I'm in with Sigilive, I don't think he would ever knock off against me unless he's plus two, or potentially a trash band. He could also be uh, Stone Edge, I guess, um, is a possibility. But I do really think that his Mian Chao could be Choice Scar if he brings it, so he has some on that outspeeds um, Bashkuda, and if, I think Mian Chao is a better Scarfer than Orcorio for his team. Now, the moveset is going to be Psychic, Air Slash, Energy Ball, and Roost. Um, psychic for Stab, Air Slash for Stab, Energy Ball for Swampert. Now, the Mach does kind of sit a little bit in front of Sigilif, but at the same time, I do have two or three months that I can swap in on the Mach very, 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 very free, uh, freely. So I'm not too worried about that. He has brought a curse set on the mark, so I definitely have to watch out for that. Um, if he starts cursing up with the mark, it can be a little bit of an issue. But I can I can bring it down um, with a couple of months and I'm trying to see if I can take it out. But uh, that's the live this week. Next up, we have Incineroar, also known as Overhaul. Incineroar is going to be running the Assault Vest. Assault Vest, which means the Holder Spadef. Special Defense is 1.5, but it can only take damaging moves. With the Intimidate ability, this makes Incineroar overall really bulky. Um, I typically 
Before Gen 8, I loved running Assault Vest uh, Incineroar. It was one of my favorite sets, like, just in general. I loved it, because Incineroar has just such a good uh, move pool that can utilize all of its attacking moves while then having the Assault Vest to boost your special defense. Uh, heavy Duty Boots has changed that a little bit, because I love Heavy Duty Boots. I think it's one of my favorite items ever introduced. It's such, it's such a smart concept. I really love it. Um, but yeah... Assault Vest in general, it's to help with like Mega Amphros, a little bit with Rebombi, and it can also swap into the Muck if I needed to. Now, we are a careful nature with 232 HP, 0 attack, 0 defense, 140 in special defense, and 136 in speed. This allows me to outspeed a modest Mega Amphros uh, if I need to. If he's timid, he doesn't do as much damage. I can, I can kind of work around that, um, but if he's modest, I outspeed him, and then I can attack him with knockoff, blaze kit, earthquake, and drain punch. So, primarily, we would click earthquake in front of it, of course, but if I'm already in, and he swaps it in, I could potentially... Okay, rather, if he kills something with a Mega Amphros, and I swap in my Incineroar, I could knock off, because it still does a decent chunk of the Amphros, even though it doesn't get the boost, because it's a Mega, mega Stone. And then Earthquake afterwards, plus I can gauge how fast he is. But primarily, I click Earthquake on it. Uh, he's never going to bring in in his uh, Rebombi against Incineroar because he would feel... Oh, well, okay. He could potentially predict a Dark or a Ground-type move if I'm in against the Amphros and then swap into it. But on that, I don't think he would ever do it. Uh, kind of same with Oricorio. If it's the Fire... Or fire type or Koro, he would be scared for he would be scared of getting his heavy duty boots knocked off and if it's the psychic and ghost he doesn't want to get them um, to by affected damage so it would only be the electric one he would maybe consider but even then it's it's not really worth it. So Earthquake is pretty free. Um if he swaps in the Legi Legi I have Drain Punch. If he swaps in Chestnut I have Blaze Kid of course. Swaps in I guess Swampert is the main thing I could see him swap in on this. But getting a knockoff on the Swamble could also be huge. But yeah, that's in general this week. Mainly here for the Spidef against the Mega Amphros. Next up, we have Weezing Gala, also known as Dimadome. Dimadome. Gonna be rocking the Black Slot, which means each turn, if the holder is a poison type, resource 116 of its max HP. Loses 1 8th, if not. We're gonna be with the Levitate ability this time around. For primarily the Swamp, but also Chestnut can also run Earthquake, and I mean, I guess he can run Earthquake. I'm pretty sure Liggy Liggy gets this or something like that. I don't think he would ever run it, but I don't really see a reason to run Misty Terrain or Neutralizing Gas. Maybe, maybe Neutralizing Gas for like um, uh, Reckless. Well, I don't know. Actually, I don't. I don't see a reason to run uh, neutralizing gas. Really, I'm not. He doesn't really have a lot of abilities that that could be important to shut down. Like, like me and Shao, if it's reckless, well, it's only reckless move is high jump kick and a four time resistor. So I don't really care anyway. Um, I guess for like, like if I if I were to taunt the Lig Liggy, maybe. But uh, we are both native with 232 HP, 212 in defense, uh, 0 special attacks, 48 special defense, and 16 in speed. 16 in speed just to potentially outspeed the Swarm Bird, or if he has speed creep his Leggy Leggy or anything for wheezing, we can potentially try and outspeed them, but it's not too important uh, to be able to do that. The moveset is going to be Strange Steam, so yeah, we're only rocking one attacking move, Toxic Defog, and Pain Split. Toxic is because... It's somewhat free, like his muck can go in against this because it's very spadef heavy, so it can just take a hit if it needs to. But other than that, spreading some toxic around on Liggy League on Chestnut, uh, well, he wouldn't swap into Chestnut on Swampert. On, um, I guess Sandslash would be his main swap in if he brings Sandslash to this. Uh, Defox, we can get rid of Spikes and Stealth Rocks, and then Pain Split to get some longevity on Weezing. Lastly, this week, we have Runa Regis, also known as Ugo. Ugo is going to be holding the leftovers. At the end of every turn, holder restores 116 with max HP. I don't really think, I don't really think running a resistance barrier this time around is going to be helpful because Swampert, Rebombi, Muck, Chestnut, or Corio, 
Liggy Liggy even and Sans that can all run super effective moves for Rune Regis. So yes, you could also question why are you bringing it? Well, Rune Regis is just a good defensive mod in general. Plus, this can also be a, a way to kind of work around <laughs> what's it called um, some abilities. If Mug is the curse set with Gluttony uh, Resto Chesto or something like that, and he is like one attacking move, curse, rest, um. Uh, recycle for instance I can then make sure I get rid of the gluttony so that can help me a little bit but it's not too important because we are of course the wandering spirit ability we cannot be anything else uh, relax nature with sorry that's supposed to be sassy nature not relax nature that's my fault 248 uh, HP zero attacks uh, 32 um, defense 228 in special defense and zero in speed yes it is supposed to be sassy because this is my sort of secondary counter to mega amphros uh, also a little bit of counter to rebombi those two are very scary mons, so I need something that can deal with them besides the Senral, and that is Ruin Regis this week. We have the moveset of Poltergeist, Earthquake, Will-O-Wisp, and Stealthfrog. So, this is why if he if he brings both the Mark and the Sandslash, and I have this in, I'm pretty sure either one of those are gonna swap into Ruin Regis, and I'm just gonna Will-O-Wisp then. Like, e even if he stays in with like a Mega Infros or a Rebombi, Will-O-Wisp is still residual damage, and if I can get a burn on any of his physically attacking Mon, Mons being Mock, Me and Xiao, Chestnut, or Sandslash, that's actually going to be very huge for my team. That's going to be really, really nice. But yeah, that's the team this week. Um, as always, let me know what you think of the battle. Leave a like on the video if you like the video so far, because we are supposed we are about to head into the battle now. Uh, leave a comment down below what you think of the team builder, and afterwards, what you think of the battle. And subscribe to the channel for future videos. And with that. I will head into the battle. Peace, YouTube. All right, what's good, YouTube? Gentlemen, Thomas here, and I'm now here with my Roost Week 8 battle against Kumos. Now, I'm actually recording this little mini intro and the battle a week after uh, I recorded the uh, team builder. Apparently, we scheduled a week early. I don't even know where we got the extra week from. It's not only it wasn't only uh, Cumus and I. It was a good part of the league that like all of a sudden we had an extra week. So something kind of like <laughs> either we missed it or something just went wrong. But we had an extra week, so that's why there wasn't an upload last week. We are going to do it this week instead. And I just want to quickly say that I changed a few sets because it's been a week. I've looked over them a little bit, uh, and I think I think it changed the overall to the better, but it might end up biting me a little bit in the butt. So Lucario stayed the same. Uh, one of the changes is Spare Scooter. Spare Scooter went from Power of Bounce to just straight up Choice Band because I have enough. Uh, enough of my other mons that can kind of deal with chestnuts. I don't need bear scooters. So I would rather just be able to pop something with liquidation. If chestnut is not there, his only real resist is Mega Amphros. And if Mega Amphros gets chipped down, that's perfect. That means I can revenge it easier. Uh, another one I changed. No, I think I think no, that was, uh, I changed. Uh, I did actually change Lucario. Sorry, I'm I'm being dumb here. I changed from steadfast to justified because this actually means that Lucario is not a bad swap into his muck. Because I don't think he would go for fire punch at least the first time around. So I think I can always go into muck. He can't poison me if he knocks off. Uh, he knocks my life up, up sure, but I get the plus one boost. So I kind of end up end out on top there. Um, so that's why I went with justified. Just, just you know, I don't know. Steadfast didn't help me much. Um, Inner focus isn't going to help me a lot, so I just went with Justified. If we get the boost, we get the boost. Other than that, the team is uh, practically the same. Yeah, it, it is fully the same, actually. So with that, I will now actually head into the battle. Peace. All right, what's good, YouTube? Gentlemen, I'm here, and I'm here with the actual battle this time around. So, Cumus um, surprised me a little bit with what he brought. So he brought his Swambert, Mian Xiao, Mega Amphros, Chestnut, uh, Rebombi, and the Oricorio Sensu style. So the Ghost variant of Oricorio... Guess for Runa Regis. So yeah, so he can break Runa Regis for his Mega Amphros. It's not a bad idea. It's really not a bad idea. Uh, I would probably still have gone maybe the Fire style, so you can hit Lucario. But the, I don't know. I don't know. It's it's like a 50-50. It's I don't think it's a bad choice for him to go with the Sensor style. O overall, I don't think he needed Oricorio. I think he had other ways to will down. Um, what's it called? Um, Runa Regis, uh, so he didn't bring Mark, he didn't bring the Pip, he didn't bring a Sandlass, Sandlass, and he didn't bring Liga Liga. Liga Liga not coming is probably the biggest surprise. I could have seen Mian Xiao, even though I originally hadn't listed it as one of the mons I thought would come. I could see Mian Xiao come at any point. Uh, 
Now, I, th I think part of me, part of me will run a go Bereskuda, and if he leads me and Xiao, I'm almost 100% certain he's um, Trishkaf, because otherwise I don't think he would lead it. So I think leading um, Bereskuda, and if he leads like Swampert, if he leads Swampert, uh, I do a chunk of liquidation. I could l just click liquidation at that point, or I could flip, click flip turn in case he goes Chestnut, I guess. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to lead uh, this, if he leads me and Xiao. Swamp. He leads the swamp, but okay. I kind of figured it would be one of those two. I think what I want to do is I want to probably go Sigilyph. Because Toxic wouldn't matter. Flip and all that wouldn't matter. So I'm going to flip turn. Actually, in, in case. I want to see for my own amusement. I shout out to you if you are. Choice Cup Swampert. Shout out to you if you are. Okay, you cannot outspeed me. So yeah, I'm flip turning. See ya. Woo. That did a lot. <laughs> that actually did a surprising. Oh, so he's not. F oh, he's a he's very very little like fist F. I think very little fist F. Flip turn as well. No EQ. Woo! We read those. We read those. What will come in here? Ooh, actually him not bringing Mark make this a lot better all of a sudden. Um, I think Psychic is a fairly, because what I'm, Amphros is probably his best answer. Amphros. Ooh. I can actually potentially two tap it if he goes. Oh, he goes the Oricorio, okay. Triscaf then. I'm predicting this to be Choice Scarf then. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't see why he would uh, go with it like this. Oricorio Sensor, I believe this is called. Uh, Revelation. Revelation Dance against my Sigil. Uh, Sigil, where are you? You're there. Okay, Revelation Dance can't kill, and I can kill with Psychic. Oh wait, this is without any like attacking investment in the Wow, that's very interesting actually. Yeah, so no, he can kill. Um I think going Incineroar is probably the correct answer here. AV Incineroar should do the trick. He could. Does this get U-turn? It might do. Okay. We eat that. <sighs> okay, what would he go here? I don't I don't expect uh, I expect expect potentially the Swampert here. How how ballsy do I think I am? How ballsy do I think I am? Swampert. No one? There's no way in hell he stays in. He goes Swampert or he goes Amphros. If he goes Amphros, that's actually not good. Uh, you know what? Because Swampert isn't the greatest, I'm just gonna knock off. He just, I should, I should have been ballsy. I should have done it. I should have done. It. I was about to like double swap into uh, Sigilyph again, just because I didn't think he could really do anything. Now, if you flip turns on my Sigilyph, that's annoying. Uh, it's gonna be what it is. Uh, but I'm still, I still think I will go Sigilyph simply just because Toxic won't hurt me. Earthquake can hit me, and if he's like, like what waterfall? Yeah, waterfall doesn't even do that much. I'm just going Sigilyph here. That's yeah, flip turn. I I, fi I figured as much that that's what, what what was he wanted. That was what he wanted to do. I very much figured uh, it was this. Now now we have the mega uh, the mega Amphoros. Like like I knew he was gonna do this, but I I couldn't really pre prevent it because I knew he was gonna flip turn no matter what. And then and Cinema doesn't want to take the flip turn, so he could just he could go into whatever he wanted. Uh, I don't like if he's just a little bit smart. He doesn't click Thunderbolt here. Like Thunderbolt is not the play for you to make here, my good sir. Uh, if you focus blasts in Cinema, that's a great play. <sighs> Drago Media to actually does this get Drago Media? Actually, is it, no, it's only dra uh, Dragon Pulse, right? Like I believe it's only yeah, it's only okay. So Runa Regis, like Dragon Pulse does a chunk. Like it does a chunk. Um, and that's annoying. Like it, it makes it so basically I can't swap it in again, pretty much. 
Yeah, see, I, I kind of knew this was going to be an issue. That's also why I brought both AV and Sinral and Rune Regis. Um... I could go Weezing because I'm I'm levitate. Well, I levitate wouldn't matter, but it's, it's fun. It's basically Thunderbolt versus Dragon Pulse. Like I guess going in Cinnaroar, as long as he doesn't focus blast, and if he focus blast, I just have to say well played. I feel like I feel like that's what I have to do. Focus blast. If if you focus blast, this is well played. Hidden power, ice. Hidden power, ice. Instead, okay. I mean. Sure. Like, Dragon Pulse does more. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure I understand that play. Like, the choice of going Hidden Power Ice, but... Okay. Uh, okay, do I just Earthquake here? Because, well, yeah, the Oricoro doesn't even want to come in, so I guess it's Earthquake, because... I also should have enough speed to outspeed any uh, Swampert that wants to come in, basically. EQ, T-Bolt, doesn't do a lot. As long as it doesn't para, this shouldn't. My Earthquake did 46%. So actually, if I Drain Punch now... Drain Punch into EQ. Okay, yeah. This, this is also fine, it gives me HP back. Yes. Now, I doubt... Doubt... Like, really doubt he would have enough speed in this to outspeed my um, Incineroar. Because my Incineroar is, fa is, is somewhat decently fast. I have 136 speed, so I really, really don't see it. Um, okay, I did knock off the leftovers. My Drain Punch did 17% to his Swampert. Which means he's kind of basic with it. Uh, without any item, can I kill it with EQ 19 to 23? Ooh. Like, if he has, if he has any fist in, investment, it's not really worth it, I think. If he has, yeah, if he has physical investment, that's not worth it. Ah, oh, man, if he still has his, had it, has his item right now, I could 100% kill him here. Oh, that's annoying. Do, do EQ, like, my Drain Punch did 17, so he can, he cannot be f max physically defensive. Um, he can be, like, somewhat physically defensive, and then not a lot. Like, if he's bold, zero defense, I guess. What would, what would Swampert be for on my team? Actually, yeah, what would Swampert be for? I don't get it. <sighs> I mean, I might take... I'm gonna go for the kill, I might take... Yeah, okay. Whew. I was supposed to say, I might take some annoying damage here. Uh, me and Xiao is what I'm expecting now. Thank you, I kind of figured. And we're just going out here. We're going out to Weezing, like, the. I have no reason to not go Weezing on this. I think... Okay, let me cancel it. Let me let me not rush this. Okay, Weezing. He brings in his Ampharos. That's not smart. He brings in Chestnut. That's not smart. He could bring in his Rebombi, I guess. Uh, if Rebombi has... Because, okay, he doesn't know I don't have a Poison-type move. Uh, and if he has Psychic, that hurts. Um, if he brings in his... Oricorio. If he brings in Oricorio. Any Hurricanes. That's not good. I'm very much like you have to. Yeah, you turn. I thought so. You have to. You turn here. But the thing is, he doesn't have a lot of things to deal with. The um. I mean, you can't kill me, and I I can do like a lot to you. I could. He does. I don't think I would get enough out of that. Would I? If if he hits me, I paint. I paint split. He hits me. I paint split. I have, I have to think. Here. He hits me. I paint split. I, st I don't think I get within the thunderbolt range. I'm strange teaming. I outspeed him. Okay. So I failed. Okay. Easy. Easy peasy. Now he goes the Oricorio. Um Honestly, I can go Incineroar, I think, no matter what, because he doesn't have his uh, Ampharos anymore, so I don't need Incineroar as much. Uh, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Revelation Stance, okay, you're playing very, very straightforward. I want to, because I'm pretty sure there's a Scarf. Uh, I'm like 90% sure there's a Scarf. Choice Scarf. Basically, 
I want to knock off any item that comes in, even if it's the, if it's the Mian Shout, it's worth it. <sighs> okay, use. Oh, he's not Choice Scarfed. Okay. I really thought he was Choice Scarfed. Okay. He goes Chestnut. It was Salic. Ooh, ooh, is this. Be this might be Belly Drum Chestnut. Uh, and because of it might be that Belly Drum with Salic Barry, I actually think I will Blaze Kick him to get him on the half. Uncore sensor, okay. You tried. I mean, I guess I respect the, the hustle. Okay, so now I don't now I have no idea what this thing is since it's not true scarf. Um Drain Punch does 14 to 15, so I could just drain punch for the but I actually kinda wanna knock off again in case he goes um either Rubambi or okay. I mean yeah you will link in center or down I guess, but Sure. Just not. I still think I blaze kick this so it can belly drum. I think that's what I do. Like I'll second Cinero because I don't need in Cinero. So yeah, I blaze kick. Oh, he outspeeds me. Okay, yeah, okay. So of course, if he's like a fast variant, of course he outspeeds me. Duh. Yeah, but I guess I go sigil here. Like. Yeet. Okay, so this thing is choice scarf. Uh, it, it doesn't have to be. You turn. I mean, I don't necessarily think you can get anything, anything out of that, if I'm honest. Okay, Moonblast is gonna hurt. What I'm gonna do, I think, is I'm gonna Toxic Quiver. Ooh, okay, I'm kinda glad it's Toxic now. Okay, he's plus one across the board. I can still take one, so I'm going to strange teams. Okay, wait, he has, he has psychic. Ah, uh, oh, I'm not, I'm not even. I wasn't even on my um, <laughs> on my wheezing. So, whoops. But I mean, Lucario, Lucario's bullet punch does 95 to 133. I have not seen an item, so I'm actually expecting that to be the Babiri Berry. <sighs> do I go rune? This thing doesn't get like Shadow Ball or anything, right? Yeah, no, no Shadow Ball, no Dark type move, no. Uh, so what Hidden Power? Like, let's just assume he has like Hidden Power Grass. Like, it doesn't have to be Grass; it just have to hit Rune Special, especially offensive. Okay. Um, he could be if he's no item, Lucario kills him. If he has an item, he gets within really the bullet punch range no matter what. So, no blast. Yeah, take that. <laughs> Ooh, this might be what can cost me. This might be what can cost me, and I hate stuff like this. It's so ass. Oh, thank God, please hit. Oh, that was kind of scary. Ooh, do I lose this? No, because if he locks himself into either knock off a stone, it's Lucario. Oh, if he's... Mm, interesting. Okay, knock off. Oh, this can this can kinda depend on what his set is, because well, uh, uh, I might have wow, I, I might have misplayed this again. Like I did the same with my um, actually I can go bear scooter, and if he's choice scarf knockoff, I put him in with within Lucario's bullet punch range, and if he's not uh, choice scarf knockoff, my choice band kills him. So I think I think that's what I'm gonna do. He's not choice card, okay. Actually, I, I could just liquid. I could just liquidate. Okay, so I won the match. I definitely think I could have won with a bigger differential. I I kind of I don't know. I went a little lax after I got a couple of months of his down. Um, but GG Cumas uh, was a fun match. I didn't I didn't think I have it. I had like control over the match. Uh, but I definitely, my 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 mind was probably focused a bit too much on him bringing Sticker Web Rebambi that I didn't really consider what Quiver Dance Rebambi would do to my team. Uh, missing Poltergeist is unfortunate. I don't get how, how do I, I feel like I miss Poltergeist more than I actually hit it. And I'm pretty sure it's like 90% accuracy. And yeah, that's a 90% accuracy move. I'm pretty sure I've missed it like almost as many times as, as I've hit it, hit it. Like, I don't, I don't understand the concept behind that. But um, 
Again, GG Gumas. I'm just happy I won. Like, I've been... Okay, not, I haven't really been on that much of a losing streak. I've just... I'm still suffering from a match in WPF, which... Oh, shit, this is going up. Forget what I said. This is going up before WF. Nothing happened in WFPF. <laughs> As always, if you liked the video, make sure to leave a like on the video. Leave a comment down below what you thought of the battle. And maybe the team build, even though it's like a week ago and I don't even remember how it went. <laughs> uh, and subscribe to the channel for future videos. And with that, I'm out. Peace, YouTube.